Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Rainbow Tarot UK. It's so lovely to have you here if you're either a new or a returning viewer or subscriber. I really, really appreciate you coming in and checking out the channel. So in today's reading, we're going to be doing our, well, you know, what is left unsaid between you and your person, uh, your person of interest. Um, and as usual, we've got our three piles. I'm just going to bring the camera down so you can see our three piles. And here they are. So we've got pile number one with this card. And it says, stay optimistic about your love life. with a little silver patterned heart here. Fantastic. Pile number two, which is reconciliation. And the little red heart here. And then pile number three, which says engagement with a little silver heart. So those are the three piles I have um, meditated on today. Um, as usual, as I always say, just you know, take a moment, use your intuition, go for the pile that's calling for you. There might be more than one pile, and that's absolutely fine. You remember, it's a timeless read, and it's good for whenever you're finding it. And it's a general reading, so just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. But other than that, I'll see you in your reading. Bye for now. Hey, pile number one, welcome back to your reading. Um, so you chose to come into the reading under this card that says stay optimistic about your love life and the message underneath says positive thinking and faith will bring you romance and um, so I thought I'd just use the message cards here because you know the reading is about you know what is left unsaid between you um, and you also chose this little silver patterned heart now interestingly this reading has come in it has begun on 0111 um, so immediately that tells me um, that, you know, if you've been getting, been getting any signs or synchronicities or anything regarding this connection to really, or that basically there have been a lot of signs and synchronicities, you know, telling you um, or leading you or giving you some information um, from your spirit team or your spirit guides about this connection. So I feel like there is a sort of a, maybe there's a protection around it. Maybe there are some messages that are trying to come through. Maybe you connect on a very spiritual level to this person. Maybe there is some sort of divine uh, connection here. Um, but just I just noticed that number straight away when we came into the reading. That that's you know that's the number that was the, at the beginning, at the start of the reading. So I feel like there is something around trusting your gut as well, trusting your intuition in this particular connection. Um, you know, trusting what you're hearing from your spirit team really regarding it. But anyway, let's have a little look here. So we've also got all oh, no, our look at that. Trust your wisdom. Card number 13. Trust your wisdom with the owl here. So yeah, there is, I feel like in this is in this situation, um, it's also about hope as well, I think. I think this is also telling you to be hopeful, to have some hope, to have faith. Um, you know, those signs and synchronicities are about getting you to keep the faith, to remain hopeful about this connection. Um, that there is still hope left in the connection. And this says patience, and it's got a crow here, hasn't it? I mean, crow is a messenger, so I feel like, um, you know, that there is um, something good for you coming in, around the corner or coming towards you in this connection. It may feel like there isn't. It may feel, because 13 also cancels down. Uh, well, 13, actually, number 13 relates to the death card in... Um, the tarot deck, which can be about change and transformation. So maybe you're inquiring about somebody that ha you have split up from or that you're in separation from or there's been some troubles or some difficulties with this person. Um, but it's about you having hope. It's about you, um, and I feel like that's what your spirit team is trying to tell you as well with the 111. They're trying to get a message to you to say, look, be hopeful about this. Stay positive. Don't allow yourself um, to think negatively in this situation. And that's the first thing. Uh, that there's been left unsaid between you is that it might appear like it's hopeless but in actual fact there is still hope in this connection there's still hope for this connection that's kind of what i'm picking up here but let's have a look and see big thanks if you've subscribed shared uh liked i uh, really really appreciate that and if you feel you want to do that if you want to subscribe hit the notification bell then please do because it just means you know that i can carry on with my channel it can carry on growing and i can carry on delivering readings like this one but anyway, let's get straight to it. So, you know, what is left unsaid? You know, what's, you know, been simmering? What's been not come out in, you know, what's not come out between part number one and the person? What is left unsaid between them? What thoughts and feelings? I feel those 
I've got four there actually. And at the bottom of the deck, I've got the Seven of Swords here. Okay. The Moon. Mm -hmm. Page Swords. Oh, yeah. Nine of Cups. And the Ace of Pentacles. Right. But I feel like that there's a lot of. Um, I feel like you probably possibly are in separation from this person. Um, or it could be a secret or hidden in, uh, situation, and that would obviously go with the, the title of the reading about what is left unsaid. Because it might be like a, a crush situation or an attraction situation, a situation which, where that you know hasn't actually come into being yet because you know um, for whatever reason, and so there's all these kind of feelings and thoughts simmering. But it could also be something where you've come into separation. Um, or maybe it's just like not a very serious situation or for whatever reason you haven't been able to express certain things and you're wondering what's going on um, I feel like there is you know both of you there is still a huge amount of sort of curiosity about each other there's with page of swords that is like a little spy sort of energy so I feel like if you're in separation or you know because either you're not together or because you haven't actually got together yet there's a huge amount of curiosity about you so so what's left unsaid is that you are checking each other out you you know if you're wondering about that you are both very curious about each other still both checking each other out both wanting to know what the other one's doing who they're seeing what they what they're you know what they're doing in their life really uh, there's a lot of hiddenness so I feel like you might be very um, that the situation might be very hidden because we've got the moon and we've got the seven of swords and the seven of swords can also be a really hidden sort of energy really so I feel like there's a lot going on in this connection um, under behind the scenes or under the surface um, you know but sort of things kind of simmering really uh, but these are emotions this is the moon is also about sort of deep emotions so I feel like there's a lot of deep emotions still but it might be hidden and that might be why you know you're having this reading because those the depth of the emotion or the depth of the feeling might be kind of hidden you might not be able to access it it might be very secret because the page of swords is also a secretive energy because it's like a spy energy so we've got the moon we've got the spy, um the set the page of swords and we've got the seven of swords so there really is a lot left unsaid no wonder you're having this reading because i feel like there's a lot of things that aren't you know that haven't come out in the open where you're confused maybe you're in this situation where you're really confused um, because the moon can be a confused energy, an energy of confusion, concealment, things not being clear, a lack of clarity. Um, and maybe you or them are just having to fight, fight, you know, find information and look really hard to, to, to kind of work out, work each other out, find uh, information about each other. So it might be something that has come into separation for a long time. You have, you've got no contact with this person at all. Um, or it could be that it's a crush situation and, um, you know, you just completely don't know um, anything other than the sort of surface level of your crush and you really, um, it's really, everything else is really well hidden so you don't know what they're thinking and feeling at all. You've got kind of no access to that. And I think that's probably why you're saying, you know, tr that's why the reading is saying trust your wisdom. Um, there are lots of signs and synchronicities that are probably telling you what this person is thinking and feeling, um, what they would love to be able to say to you but maybe haven't said. So something like that, because also the moon is a very intuitive card as well. So there's a lot of um, references in this um, pile to really listening to your gut uh, about this connection, because I feel like you're getting a lot of guidance around this connection. Now, it could be that something happened in this connection as well, with the Seven of Swords here, because the Seven of Swords can be a little bit of a tricky energy. So maybe something happened in the connection that wasn't quite right, where there's a little bit of um, dishonesty or deception, um, or somebody did something, you know, um, that was unexpected, because we've got the moon in this card, and we've also got the moon here, and the moon can talk, like I say, about concealment, things not being clear. So maybe something um, happened in this situation, if you're in separation, to bring it into separation. Um, but again, it can talk about this very sort of secretive energy, uh, where you're just not sure, um, you know, the reason why you're having this uh, 
reading is because you know you've got no either got no access to this person they've got no access to you um you know you're completely in a no contact situation you're separated um and you're you know you're just wondering what what um you know whether they've still got feelings and thoughts for you well they with the nine of cups here i mean they definitely have i think they see you as their wish fulfillment that's the thing that's been left unsaid if you feel like if things may be ended difficult in a difficult way with the seven of swords here or you parted company or you split up or you um are crushing over this person well you are their wish fulfillment the nine of cups is a wish fulfillment card it's um seeing somebody in such a positive way having you know seeing them in such seeing them as providing happiness for you uh, and emotional fulfillment so i feel like this person is seeing you in that way um so that's probably why you've got to stay optimistic about your love life because i feel like this person does actually still have a lot of uh love in their heart for you or certainly does have a lot of love in their heart a lot of attraction there's a lot of romance still um ace of pentacles was a new beginning i feel like what's been said is unsaid is that there there is a new becoming coming and that's probably why you've got to stay optimistic about your love life because um even if you think it's kind of dead in the water or it's not going to happen or um you know it's kind of gone or it's not possible the ace of pentacles is a brand new tangible beginning a new start um and i feel that that is maybe um, the seven of swords can be an unexpected energy so maybe that is something that you'll be think of in a that would be very unexpected it's something that's completely unexpected in this situation for it to either um reconcile and come back together or for it to start it's something that would be so um yeah so unexpected for you um because it is you know at the moment so um hidden or so detached or so um you are so separate from each other with the moon card here and the page of swords but you're being asked to trust the signs trust your own gut and be patient and stay optimistic stay hopeful here um certainly so in terms of astrological signs uh, the moon is pisces energy page of swords libra gemini aquarius nine of cups again that is pisces energy and the ace of pentacles could be capricorn taurus virgo seven of swords is um aquarius energy so those are just some of the astrological signs that i'm seeing here let's have another message card oh that one this says release your ex the time has come to clear your energy release your ex the time has come to clear your energy so that is interesting that might mean something uh, to you what's at the bottom of here and deception now that would go here with the seven of swords here as well because the seven of swords does talk about um deception i mean the other way of reading this possibly is that it's a new beginning for you you know that it's about you know there maybe there was um some deception in this situation maybe there was um something that somebody that did something wrong um maybe um you know there was a lot of um things that were hidden um you know and it was uh, causing a lot of distress a lot of confusion and a lot of lack of clarity and maybe another side of it is that you um and it's connected to an old relationship and that basically it's time for you to begin again to start again to be optimistic that something else is coming out there for you that is another way in which we could read this situation but let's see what else is coming up let's see what what the next row looks like so what is left unsaid what is left i mean maybe somebody is having doubts here as well maybe you're feeling like the situation has come to an end it's time to release them it's time to let them go but maybe there's something still left in this situation and that is the thing that is left unsaid you know that there's something there's still hope left in this situation but maybe the at the moment you're thinking oh you know we need to just let each other go um there's no hope left for this situation it's time to kind of get rid of it so let's see what else comes up uh, what has been left unsaid between paul number one and that person please please can you have some clarity what's been left unsaid strength let me move these up a little bit so i've got a bit more room two of pentacles what's 
been left unsaid between power number one and the person. Four of Wands. Mm -hmm. And Three of Swords. Yeah. At the bottom of the deck is the Fool. I think we've got the Fool. Did we have the Fool come out before? No. So I think what I think has happened here is that you, this is a pile where you have split up from somebody, um, you're in separation from it, and it looks <clears throat> it looks like it's um, over, to all intents and purposes, it looks like it's over. There might have been some tricky behaviour, there might have been difficult behaviour, um, there might have been a lot of confusion, a lack of clarity, but there is still curiosity for both of you. You're still very curious, curious about each other. There's, there's still love there in the situation, and maybe you're in a, a point at a crossroads where you think you need to release it and let it go um now i think what's been left unsaid is that there's still love left in this situation with the four of wands in because under the nine of cups which is a wish fulfillment is the four of wands which is a very 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 um you know this is about can talk about commitment it can talk about marriage it can talk about um celebration it's the 11 11 sign which interestingly i think i started off by saying that this reading began on 0111, um, which again is a very divine number, and it just makes me feel that you might be divine counterparts, that there is a strong connection, a strong energy uh, between you, and that might be what hasn't been properly acknowledged because, you know, if it's particularly if it's kind of like a bit of a twin flame thing, where it's, you know, it can be a bit of a rough journey if you both haven't elevated and sort of healed so there might have been uh this you know a situation where there was a lot of confusion a lack of clarity um a lot of to and fro in maybe it was a hidden situation maybe you weren't treated properly all those things can happen um when you know when people haven't healed properly and when they're triggering each other but i think the thing that's left unsaid is that there's still that connection um between you but there is you know it has been um, hard. It has been a difficult situation. There has been a lot of loss. There has been a lot of heartache in this situation. And I'm not diminishing that. I think there's been a lot of confusion. There might have been some poor behaviour. Um, but I think this reading is about what is left unsaid between you. And what I think is left unsaid between you is that deep in your heart, both of you um, are still sort of holding on to this connection a little bit. Are still wanting this connection. I can still feel, still feel and see the potential in the connection. Um, but you know that there are issues, you know that there are problems. The Two of Pentacles here is, you know, um, weighing things up. So you might be in separation, both looking at each other, both checking each other out, still both curious about each other. But underneath is the Two of Pentacles, which is this kind of like, you know, you're still weighing things up. You're wondering about whether it would be worth getting back into a connection with this person. Um, neither of you maybe are a little bit sure, but you still feel this strong link. And this strong bond. Um, <clears throat> that's kind of what I'm seeing. Um, and maybe there's a desire to kind of overcome. That's maybe the other thing that's been left unsaid. That there's a desire to, with the strength card here to overcome any difficulties or problems that you have had with the moon card here. There's a desire to be out in the open. There's a desire to master or get a handle on maybe any toxic behaviour or any difficult behaviours that might have occurred in the relationship here with the Seven of Swords. And, and so maybe there just hasn't been a chance to, um, you know, uh, sort of open up about that. Maybe there's a need for more time with the Patience card here. But I feel like if you've got an intuitive or a gut feeling about this situation not being over, I think you in this reading you're sort of being asked to listen to that really because the overarching energy is the fall well the fall is about a new beginning a new start it might be a t leap of faith it might be a risk um so it might be a leap of faith or a risk to be back with this person um but i think that is what both of you are kind of hoping for i feel like both of you are hoping for a new a brand new beginning where you completely start again and you let go of what has gone on before um you sort of heal you release what has gone on before and you come together in a better way so that you have the chance of this kind of like really strong twin flame connection and when two 
you know, twin flames come together and they're both healed and elevated. I mean, the connection can be fantastic. But there is definitely a draw and a pull. I think both of you see each other as their divine counterpart, as the other half, as the one. Um, but you might be in a period now where you're thinking, oh, you know, we really need to get rid of it. We really need to release it. Um, but, you know, um, what I feel, what how I would read that is, is a re there's a need to release old energy within the connection as well. There's a need to release old patterns, poor ways of behaving, certainly. And with a strength card, there's a need for healing. Um, and I think that both of you um, are feeling that, but you haven't maybe acknowledged it to each other. It's hidden or you're too far into the separation or something like that. But actually, you know, both of you want this new beginning. Um, but maybe you're seeing, you know, in reality, you're seeing barriers to it. You're seeing problems to it. You're um, thinking negatively about it. And what the reading is saying, you know, is that remain hopeful. Hold on to hope. Have faith. If that is what your intuition is telling you, then sort of have faith in that. In terms of astrological signs, strength is Leo. Two of Pentacles is um, Capricorn energy. Four of Wands is Aries energy. Three of Swords, Libran energy. So those are just some of the astrological signs. But let's see if we've got a couple of other message cards and then we will leave it for you, pile number. So what is left unsaid between pile number one and their person, please? Can you tell me what is left unsaid? Between pile number one and a person. That one, I feel it these two. Let's see what these say. What is left unsaid? You may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. So maybe you've been through a tough time in this situation. Um, and maybe out of that, something good can still emerge surrender at times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives let go and all will work out so that goes with the release the x or certainly surrendering old energy give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires so i think the thing the message here here is really in terms of this situation is to listen to your Listen to the signs that you're getting. Listen to your own intuition. Um, and it might be that you, you know, you're getting the signs around this connection being still having hope, still having optimism. Or it might be that you're getting the signs to, to release it, to let it go, that too much has happened for you to be able to want to have this connection back. But there is, I feel like there is a very strong link here between the two of you. And I think that the two of you still know that i think that's the main thing that's left unsaid the two of you still know that that you still feel that you still feel that pull you still feel that magnetism uh between you but anyway pile number one that's been your reading i hope you've enjoyed it if you have please do hit the subscribe button and the notification bell otherwise i'll see you in the next reading bye for now hey pile number two welcome back to your reading so today's reading isn't it you know what is left unsaid between you and your person so you chose to come into the reading under this card uh, message card i chose to use message cards for this one it says reconciliation so someone from your past is returning to your life so maybe it's something about the both of you wanting reconciliation but maybe neither of you have acknowledged that properly to each other um so let's see so he also came in under a little red part here so i'm going to put that there so i also shuffled pre-shuffled two oracle cards so we have got retreats so maybe you are actually in separation from each other here but we've got this lovely white swan here haven't we that's such a beautiful card isn't it such a peaceful card calm card um so i feel like all these blues and greens you know Maybe you don't. You do both want harmony. You want um, balance between the two of you again. You want peace. Um, Thirty-one um, cancels down to four, and four is all about you know laying foundations again. You know, making things tangible and real, building really, um, persevering that kind of thing. So maybe there is you know uh, you, you you're in separation from somebody. And in actual fact, both of you are looking for reconciliation again. Um, oh my goodness. Reincarnation. 
So again, that's about rebirth, isn't it? Rebirth, rising up, starting again. Um, brand beginning something brand new but it's with an old soul so an old soul reincarnating so like an old connection re 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 um yeah re rebirthing almost isn't it you know so i feel like it's uncanny here so basically um and we've got three r's here haven't we reconciliation retreat and reincarnation um so maybe there were signs in this connection or so you've been getting signs or feelings or something like that. Um, repeating thoughts about reconciliation with this person. Um, that somebody is going to be coming back, that they are going to be coming back, that there is hope for the two of you. You've got that kind of feeling. Um, and the both of you have, but it's not been acknowledged. It's not been properly acknowledged. It's kind of like a sign or a intuitive hit or something like that that you're you're getting about it um at the moment but anyway let's see so big thanks if you've sh uh, subscribed liked commented um i do try to listen or read rather all the comments and to um reply to them as best i can so thank you so much for that if you feel like you want to subscribe and hit the notification bell then that would be brilliant um uh so that you you know you don't miss a future upload and also just gives me a sense of what you like and you know what readings to do in the future so thanks ever so much for doing that and if you haven't then please do so let's get straight to it so what is left unsaid between part number two and their person right now ace of swords what is left unsaid nine of cups oh lovely nine of cups what is left unsaid? Knight of Swords. Um, and the Five of Wands. So I feel like, I feel like in a lot of ways, both of you are feeling um, that there's a lot of things that have been left unsaid because we've got the Ace of Swords and the Knight of Swords. Well, swords is all about communication. It's all about thought. Um, so I feel like both of you have felt i do feel like this is a part obviously around you know something that's come into separation because you know with with a reading like you know what is left what is what is um what is left unsaid between you could be you know an attraction situation or a crush situation where you've not been able to reveal how you're feeling but i think in this one it is more about um an ex situation or somebody that you've come into separation from even that you've just liked or something like that where you haven't actually maybe had a proper relationship with them or but something where there's been a connection of some kind um and what is left unsaid is that you both want to come back together you both want to revive it um and that you feel that there's a lot of things to say because we've got the communication card here of the ace of swords and the knight of swords well the ace of swords is about a brand new honest beginning it's about clarity so if there's bit if there was confusion in the past or if there was um yeah, a lack of clarity in this connection in the past. I think this time round, you, you're both wanting clarity, wanting a new, clear, um, and it was a bit like what I was saying before, a balanced, a balanced connection. You both see each other as a wish fulfilment uh, with a nine of cups here, because that is uh, the wish fulfilment card. I mean, it's complete happiness. I feel both of you, that is a mutual feeling that both of you see each other in that way. Um, uh, and maybe you know um, that wasn't acknowledged properly before um, but with the Knight of Swords here again this is about clarity this is about bold action but in a clear and authentic way so it makes me feel like there might have been possibly confusion in the situation before or a lack of clarity or a lack of, lack of authenticity or a lack of truth but I think what the now is very much about both of you wanting truth honesty authenticity clarity um clearing up any confusion a rebirth um in an honest and open way because it will bring emotional fulfillment for both of you and both of you are wishing and hoping for that uh, five of wands is the overarching energy you know normally the five of wands is shows people all competing with each other because fives can talk about challenges so maybe there has been challenges in this connection but in this particular depiction you know all these people are standing strong together against one 
foes. So I feel like both of you, what is left unsaid is that both of you are wanting to stand strong together. I wanting to be a team. I wanting to be a team now. Um, I wanting to, um, you know, uh, if you have had, maybe if there were things that challenged the connection before, or people that challenged the connection before, what both of you are wanting now is to come back together in a more, you know, because reincarnation is also hopefully, um, or not, not, not in all reincarnation, but, you know, one would hopefully hope to reincar and reincarnate and be spiritually more kind of evolved, really. Um, and I feel like this is about both of you wanting to come back together in a more evolved way, in a more um, peaceful way, in a more harmonious way, in a more balanced way, in a more spiritual way, um, you know, because you've both grown and developed. Uh, there's maybe there's a that strong spiritual link between you because this makes me feel like this is like a sort of soulmate type energy, really. That's what that's what I feel, particularly with a swan here, because swans mate for life. So maybe both of you have realised that there is a a very strong bond here between you, you know, like a spiritual connection between you. Uh, certainly, and that you are now wanting both of you to come together as a united team, as a united front, where it's kind of you and them against the world almost, you know, that's the kind of, oh, what's the thing, yeah, see, look, all that's dropped from the bottom, which is the four, which is a brand new beginning, a brand new start, um, a new journey, taking a risk, taking a leap of faith, but knowing that it's going to be worth it, knowing uh, like this um, mermaid with her little bag here, that you've got everything that you need. You've got everything you need in this connection to make it work, to make it happen. So that is what I feel uh, that both of you maybe haven't acknowledged to each other, but both of you are feeling and thinking. Um, and that's what's been left unsaid, that you want to be, be together again. Um, Ace of Swords, that is um, any of the air signs of Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Nine of Cups is Pisces energy. Knight of Swords, again, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So a lot of thought. I think I, both of you are thinking hard about this connection. Five of Wands is um, Leo energy. So let's see what else we've got. So let's have another... Let's have another one of these. Let's have another one of these. What do these say? What has been left unsaid between pile number one and their person? This says embrace. Though each other... Through each other, sorry, you find the missing pieces. So, yeah, I feel like there's a strong love in this connection still. Certainly. Let's have a look here. Um, so, what has been left unsaid between pile number two and their person, please? What has been left unsaid between pile number two and their person, please? Please, can you make that clear to me? What has been left unsaid? Between pile number two and their person. What has been left unsaid? The magician. Oh, like these two are poking out. Let's see what they are. Strength and the emperor. Magician, strength and the emperor. They also, those are all major arcana cards right there. So this is big energy. This is major energy, I think, in this connection. Um, and the hangman, another major arcana card. So this is really significant, this connection. Um, I feel like, again, with the hangman, it just shows that it's in, it's in separation at the moment. That's the overarching energy, and that there are challenges, maybe, at the moment of the connection. Um, but with the magician, obviously, it comes under the Ace of Swords, which is a brand new, authentic beginning, and they want to manifest that with the magician. They want to bring that into being. The magician is a card of manifestation, of creativity. So there is both of you, not just they, but both of you. What's left unsaid is that both of you have this, this desire to be together and to begin again, to begin anew in a better way with the strength card here. So maybe, because the strength card is about um, overcoming. You know, you always have a depiction of somebody. Um, usually it's a woman with a lion trying to shut the lion's mouth. Well, lions represent, you know, they are the, 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 the king of the jungle, aren't they? They have, uh, they are they are fierce, they have a lot of strength. Um, but this person, or the other woman in the card, is always trying to shut that lion's mouth, but in a very gentle way, sort of symbolising overcoming obstacles, challenges, difficulty, showing real strength, um, strength from within, really. 
So I feel like both of you are wanting to overcome. I'm just seeing that sort of sign of infinity above. You're always getting a strength card. Because I think you feel that this is a very strong connection, a very um, a connection that just with the reincarnation here has maybe gone through many lifetimes before and that it just goes, you know, in the, the, the sign of infinity, it just goes on and on and on in, a, in terms of a soul uh, connection. And I feel that um, both of you recognise that, both of you acknowledge that. And if there are anything challenges or issues then both of you are wanting to overcome those challenges and issues you're wanting a clear strategy and plan again about how to move forward here um because the emperor is about strategizing it's about planning it's about being again about being clear and focused um and again making things better making things better but it could be that there's a bit of detachment at the moment um in the situation there's a sense of detachment in the situation with the retreat card there's a sense of being in separation but i feel if you're both in separation you're both knowing or feeling that it's just not the end you don't want it to be the end that's what's left unsaid you just don't want it to be the end maybe both of you are taking time to gain a new perspective in this period of retreat maybe there's a need to just calm down to get you to regain your balance maybe it's just on pause and you're both realizing it's just on pause it's not the end the hanged man is in a, in a state of suspension, a state of gaining perspective, gaining a new, um, gaining enlightenment, getting some healing, something like that. But with this particular hanged man, he always looks a little bit uncomfortable. So I feel like that, sp that, that state of suspension is not going to be for too long because that person isn't going to be able to keep that up for too long. So I feel like in this situation that you, you know, that there will be reconciliation, like the card says. Um, but in that period of separation, it'll be a, a huge chance for you both to heal, to grow, to learn, to uh, recognise your strengths, um, know how much you mean to each other, and then reconnect again. So in terms of astrological, um, so if you don't know that, or that hasn't been said, presumably that hasn't been said, I feel that that is what is going to be happening. Um, the strength card is Leo energy and the Emperor is Aries. Hanged man is Pisces energy. But very significant, all this major arcana, really, really, really significant connection here. Let's have a look and see if we've got one of our, some message cards for part number two in their person here, please. What message cards have we got? Oh, deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. So maybe there's been some deception that might have been why. Um, you came into separation so maybe there's something that needs to be learnt as I said, something that needs to be reincarnated in a better way uh, something that needs to have a new perspective someone that needs to um, be clearer, be more honest be more authentic and you've got two cards here that talk about a more honest, authentic beginning so maybe somebody was wearing a mask maybe there was some deception here um Past life relationship, you have known each other before, so that goes with what I was saying. You know, I do feel like this is a very soulful connection, certainly. There's a, there's a strong link between the two of you. There's also quite a lot of um, references to pile number one. There's quite a lot of cards that have come out from pile number one here as well. So if you feel drawn to pile number one, you might want to listen to pile number one. Any other card here? Any other message? Calling in your soulmate. <laughs> Your prayers, affirmations and visualisations help bring you together, yeah. A sort of very soulful connection here. I think I said that, didn't I? It'll go to the past life relationship, being called to that infinity sign. Um, just how they're feeling about it, the reincarnation. It just feels like a very strong um, sort of soulful connection here. But let's have one more and I think we'll finish it for pile number two in their person here. So what has been left unsaid between pile number two... So I think what's been left unsaid is that you both know the significance of the relationship. You both work that out. You're both very aware of that. You feel a strong pull to each other. You are, um, yeah, you are very, very, very um, invested, I think, in being together again. Acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we must accept things as they are. There's no point trying to change that it, that which is beyond our control. So maybe there's something about um, 
uh, if you're in retreat at the moment, maybe there's a need for a bit more retreat, a need for a bit more separation to heal. Um, I see that as being something about not not kind of rushing the situation. But I think um, both of you know that this situation is going to come back together again. Both of you feel a strong pull to one another. Um, and maybe it's about kind of accepting the fact that you do have this very strong link um, towards each other. But anyway, part number two, that's been your reading. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, then please do hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next reading. Bye for now. Hey, power number three, and welcome back to your reading. So today's reading we're doing, aren't we? You know, what is left unsaid between you and them? Um, and that could relate to any kind of connection, whether you're with somebody, whether you're in separation from somebody, whether you're crushing over somebody, you know, what's being left unsaid. So you came into it under a little silver heart here. And a card that says engagement, uh, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So yeah, I mean, take the word engagement as it resonates, but I feel like this is a card of commitment. Um, so something like that. Uh, I've also pre-shuffled some oracle cards here, and we've got this one that says, it's a lovely card actually, it says play. And it's got all the monkeys, it's got all these little monkeys. Is it monkeys? That just makes me feel like a little bit, is it monkeys or squirrels? Um, I think they might be squirrels actually, but it just makes me feel mischievous. Like there's a little bit of mischief, <laughs> mischief there with the play, and then we've all got so got all oh, divergence. So that's interesting because we so we've got uh, a card of commitment and a card of separation around what is left unsaid between you. So maybe um, you're in separation for some of you, and there is a desire for commitment again, or there's a desire to renew commitment that that would be a joyful thing here with a play card or maybe there's something about um you're in a committed situation and somebody or both of you um are not sure that that's the right thing with the divergence card here you're wondering about whether you need to not be in a committed situation you need to separate in some way so you could read that either way so let's just see what else is going to come out apologies if you can hear something beeping in the background there um, somebody's uh, fire alarm is going off so that's interesting so there's some sort of signal maybe you're looking for a signal maybe they're looking for a signal um, some sort of sign or something in this um, okay so let's see thank you so much if you've liked shared subscribed um, to the channel really really appreciate that um, uh, yeah, just makes means that I know what you like, you know, it allows me to grow the channel and to do more uh, readings. So let me just do that. Okay, so let's see. What is left, what is currently left unsaid between pile number one? Not between pile number one, sorry. I feel like I'm being slightly distracted by that bell. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to it in one moment. Hey, pal number three. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm back in the room now. I had to just kind of um, temporarily pause it because of the sound that was going on in the background there. But yeah, so let's get straight to it. So yeah, apologies if I called you pal number one before, but that might be a reference for you to listen to pal number one. But yeah, so the other thing is that there might be some mixed messages or there might have been some mixed messages in this situation for some of you with the engagement and the separation here. So commitment, lack of commitment or moving away. So there might have been a bit of a mixed message here. Um, or maybe, you know, somebody wanted commitment and somebody just wanted to um, have fun uh, with all the orange and the yellow here. Just wanted to have fun, just wanted to have a good time, something like that. <clears throat> but let's see. What is left? unsaid between pile number three and their person right now please can you make it clear to me king of cups okay let's bring those down a bit king of cups right <coughs> what is left unsaid between pile number three and their person queen of pentacles no what's left unsaid the moon uh -huh. At the bottom of the deck four of pentacles okay so i think um 
I mean, I think if you, I think both of you are feeling um, a strong depth of emotion in this connection with the King of Cups here. Because the King of Cups is, you know, kings are always balanced energy. There's always wisdom in the King of Cups. So I feel like um, both of you have strong feelings still towards one another or have strong feelings towards one another. So you might be in a situation where you are committed to them. Um, but maybe that's coming under threat here, with the Divergence card here. Maybe that's, you know, there's there's some questions around that or there's some challenges around that in some way. Um, but there is, I think both of you know, uh, that there is still a strong feeling between uh, the two of you. Um, there is a strong sense of commitment with the Queen of Pentacles because the Queen of Pentacles is a committed energy. You know, the King of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, actually that is water and earth and water and earth are kind of opposite um, suits. They usually go quite well together. So I would say that the two of you um, currently know that you go quite well together, that you're a good balance, that you're a good mix together. But there's some sort of, um, uh, there's some, some kind of confusion here or some dilemma maybe or some thing hidden here or something under the radar that maybe is coming in to create tension in the situation or create problems in the situation. Because the moon is about, you know, like I said, it's about deceit, it's about deception, it's about confusion, it's about uh, things that are hidden. So maybe, um, you know, there you're not, you know, there, there's confusion um, in how you communicate your feelings to each other, or there's, a, you know, there's there's a lack of depth to how you communicate your real feelings to each other, or there's a a block a blockage in somewhere about how you communicate your real feelings to each other. Because the overarching energy is the Four of Pentacles, and that's like a sort of an energy of someone who is um, sort of caught up in the everydayness of life and is not really open emotionally. So maybe, uh, for some of you, you're in a committed situation, um, but you're sort of like not sure what they're thinking and feeling. You don't know if they feel a strong pull towards you. Yeah, it might just be um, something that seems... Um, you know, that they're just kind of like wrapped up in their everyday world, in their everyday life with the Four of Pentacles here. But uh, so you're wondering, you know, what are they thinking and feeling? And I, and I feel like there is a strong sense from both of you that you are a good match for each other, that you connect well together, that there's a lot of feeling still between you. But there is this, maybe the situation is hidden. Maybe the situation is a secret situation, is a hidden situation. Maybe somebody else is in, in this situation is committed. Maybe you're committed, maybe they're committed. Um, and so the situation between you and them is hidden. Um, but both of you want to hold on to it. Both of you here with the Four of Pentacles want to hold on to the connection, want to keep hold of the connection. Um, so maybe for some of you with the play card here, uh, this is like a three-way situation. And like I say, you're in a committed situation, they're in a committed situation, and you and them are in a third situation. Um, and there needs to be, uh, in order for it to come into to proper, into coming to a proper relationship, there needs to be a separation of some kind um, from a committed connection. That's the other way of, of reading this. Um, but I feel like both of you feel that the connection is sort of clouded at the moment in confusion, uh, is not clear. So maybe you don't have a clear path of where it's going you don't have a clear way forward. Um, maybe it goes in cycles as well because the moon governs the tide. So maybe it's cyclical or maybe you're with them sometimes and maybe you're not with them other times. Um, but both of you, the overarching feeling is that both of you have a depth of feeling for each other. Both of you are um, mature in outlook. Both of you may be committed um, in other situations. Um, but you want to hold on to the situation. You definitely want to still hold on to the situation in some way. So in terms of astrological signs, I mean, the King of Cups is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Queen of Pentacles always reminds me of sort of Taurus energy. And the Moon, again, is... Oh, it's not again. Well, actually, yeah, it's Pisces energy. It comes with the other water signs here. So that's kind of what I'm feeling is left unsaid at the moment. That There is a sort of a... There is a commitment to each other. There is a commitment to each other, but there's also, yeah, there's also a diversion. There's also um, a divergence, rather, a separation. 
So it makes me feel that maybe some of you are committed elsewhere and then you come together, maybe it's a third party situation. And so it's hidden in some way, but you want to hold on to it. You want to hold on to it. It provides you with um, relaxation, with um, happiness here with the play card. Um, maybe with the mischief here, that goes with the moon. Maybe it's something that's a bit mischievous or mischievous, a bit... Um, uh, I mean, for want of a better word, maybe a little bit naughty <laughs> in some way. Um, or something like that just for some of you but let's see what else we have here so what is left and said I think they feel very attractive to you I think there's a lot of attraction here with the peacock between the two of you there's definitely a strong attraction um, between the two of you um, I feel like you'd be quite a power couple actually um, so let's see there's a sort of good balance between the two of you, I think. I think that's there's a good balance of both grounded energy, but also, um, you know, grounded practical energy with the Queen of Pentacles, but also sort of loving bond as well between the two of you. A lot of affection, uh, a lot of romance. Um, yeah, I feel like that is there between you. But there's, yeah, there's some blocks here. There's some blockages here. There's some confusion. There's some lack of clarity. There's um, maybe something getting in the way of it. Maybe something getting in the way of the commitment. Something getting in the way of potential commitment of the situation. Um, so let's see. What is left unsaid between part number three and their person right now, please? What's left unsaid between part number three and their person right now? Two of Wands. Oh, what's this one? The Moon again. There's a lot of things left unsaid. There's a lot of secrecy in this connection. Um, and the star. And the page of cups. Mm. Wow. So I feel like there's a lot of things. I mean, this might be an attraction situation. Where, you know, like I say, somebody, both of you are in a committed situation. It's a little bit of a crush situation. You've got a crush on each other. And that might be where we've got the play card here. Um, because the Page of Cups is the overarching energy, which is like a little bit of a crush card, really. It's just a sort of, uh, a, like almost like a message of love. It can be an apology. It can mean an apology, but it can be like a message of love, coming forward with a message of love, showing that you like someone, having those kind of feelings of butterflies and things that you have when you like someone and at the very early stages of a relationship when you're sort of attracted to somebody. So it might be that there's all that going on in the connection as well, um, you know, but you certainly do like each other, definitely here with the, the, the star card here. I feel like you both really, with, it comes right under the moon card, which is all about things that are hidden, things that are not seen. So maybe this is a secret situation, maybe this is a, an affair or a third party situation, but you see each other in a very... Uh, beautiful way in a very like I say with the King of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles you see each other in a very um, spiritual way you both got a very strong link to each other um, you are but you might not be revealing that to each other with the moon coming up twice you might or you might not have revealed that to each other it might be it might ha or it might be a situation where it has to remain secret it has to remain hidden but they you both see each other in a very elevated way. That is the star card. Also, it's a wish. So I feel like you're both wishing for each other. Um, that is what is left unsaid. You both wish for each other. You both yearn for each other. I feel like with this moon card here, there's a lot of looking up and yearning as well. Looking up to the stars, looking up to the sky, looking up to the moon. Um, there's a lot of hope. I feel like there's a lot of hope in it. Uh, but you might... Some of you might be, you know, committed elsewhere. Uh, so it might have to remain hidden. It might have to remain secret um, in some way. Now, the two of wands can often signify two things, having to choose between two things. So maybe two of the two of you, or one of you is committed, because it comes underneath the king of cups. One of you is committed, and there's two things with the two of wands here that they are interested in. Like it could be that... You know, it means that they have to separate from something in order to be with you, and that's kind of being weighed up at the moment. Um, and maybe uh, 
they've chosen to be with this person that they're committed to, and um, with the Four of Pentacles here, because that can be a holding on to something, even though emotionally it's not uh, fulfilling them. Uh, but they still, and that's why you're having this reading, what is left unsaid, because they still feel this kind of light pulled towards you. I mean, the moon is a strong pull, because the moon controls the tides. It's, um, it's magnetic, isn't it? It has a strong magnetic pull to it. Um, and I'm just feeling like, um, you know, that um, with it coming up twice here, that there's a strong magnetism to this connection. But it's forbidden, it's hidden, it's secret. Um, it's under the radar, but there is this strong connection between the two of you. You feel this strong pull. Uh, you want to have this new beginning in love. You want to have this new love with a page of cups here. You might even want to get a message to each other. It's a crush situation. You might want to indicate to each other that you you feel uh, something towards each other. Um, it might be a push-pull. So with the engagement, that's a commitment. With the diversion, that's a pulling away. And that would really go well with the moon because the moon controls the tides. They come in, they come out, they come in, they come out. So it might be that it's a, 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 a sort of like a cyclical thing as well between the two of you where you're only together part of the time and then you pull away um, or it goes in cycles like that, some, some, something like that. And maybe it's in separation at the moment here with the Two of Wands, because the Two of Wands can be a period of waiting, of separation, of waiting. But, you know, the energy is to come towards each other again. So maybe if you're in separation, you're thinking, well, is there, you know, is there a person, are we going to get back together again? And I, I think, yes, because there is this sense of attraction. There is this sense of deep connection and love here. Maybe if it's cyclical, it's about, um, you know, it becoming a needing for it to become more committed in some way um, and less sort of, you know, because the play and the com and the engagement, again, sort of two opposites, you know, commitment and play sort of makes me feel in a relationship that that's two sort of opposites, isn't it, you know? So maybe there are two different situations going on for both of you and that you are somewhere, the two of you are somewhere in that. Um, but I feel that what's left unsaid is that this is a very, this is a, this connection has a very strong pull it, there's a lot of magnetism to it. There's a lot of there's a lot of spirituality to it here with the moon and the star, the moon coming up twice and the star. There's you know it's almost like divine counterparts here with the King of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles, um, and 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 the overarching energy is to hold on to it and to have a new beginning in love or to have a beginning with you, in love or a star a new star. Maybe there's an apology or a message coming in for you in some way. In terms of astrological signs, then the two of wands here is um, Aries energy. The moon is Pisces. Um, and again, Pisces is the, you know, uh, in many ways, it's kind of like the romance sign of the zodiac. Um, you know, it's, it's about, it reminds me of the Knight of Cups, which is coming forward with that kind of cup of love, really. The star is Aquarius energy. Um, I mean, you might be able to see each other when you're not together with the star card here. Maybe somebody is one of you or somebody is someone that you can see on social media um, and maybe they are doing that in secret when they're not with you or they're looking at you in some way uh, you know because that's the only access that they can get if they're not together with you um, but I feel like this is coming around again if you're in separation this is definitely coming around again um, with a sense of commitment yeah with a sense of commitment here um, but let's see if we've got any message cards. Let's see if we've got any message cards for part number three and their person. What is left unsaid between part number three and their person? Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. Okay, if there's a need, for, maybe there's a need for tolerance and a need for balance, maybe. That might be why this we've got this, the engagement and the diversion, you know, that even if you're in a committed situation with someone, you know, sometimes, you know, we need space, we need to have our alone time, we need to have um, a chance to, you know, be with, maybe be with other people, with all the little squirrels here in the tree, you know, maybe we need to have a, a chance to be with other people, to, um, you know, play with other people, to be with other people, to express ourselves with other people. Um, it doesn't mean we're not committed to our partner or our person of interest. It just means we need, you know, as an individual, we need time alone or time with others, you know. 
Maybe there's something like that going on. What's this? Twin flames, your passion ignites. Wow, so let's see what these, oh, there's too many here. I'm just gonna take those. I'm just gonna take that bottom one, actually, because that's what I feel drawn to. There's too many there. If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart and not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul. So maybe there's a message there about listening to your heart in this connection, being heart-centered uh, in some way. And I'm gonna have one of these and then I'm gonna let it go, pile number three. So what has been left unsaid between pile number three and their person, please? Is this last card here, or retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So maybe there's something about needing to, I mean, I think you might be in retreat already for some of you um, with the two of wands here. But this always reminds me, I don't know why this card always reminds me of a wedding because this person is in a white dress and they're, it's like a retreat for you and that person only. Maybe there's a chance for you and them to just be together, just you and them. Um, to kind of reconnect with each other in some way. But anyway, part number three, that's been your reading. I hope you've liked it. If you have, then please do hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next reading. Bye for now.